It may look like an ordinary t-shirt print shop in Tucker, Georgia, but it's not. It's a vehicle for global social change for artists. In late 2010, admitted serial entrepreneur Milo Pinkney and two friends and business partners traveled to Africa at the request of Cindy Bowden, head of the North American Division of the World Craft Council. Pinckney had just gotten out of one business and was looking for another. And when I sold my businesses in 2008, my wife, who's a practicing graphic artist, presented me with a problem. And the problem was that artists like herself, people who were brilliantly talented, rarely were able to generate a life-sustaining income from their, from their efforts. And with that, this quirky named business in the Atlanta suburbs was born. Yellow Llama is a print shop that will print on just about anything. Shirts, hoodies, caps, coasters, canvas. But Milo and Gail Pinckney wanted something more. So their website has also become a stock footage and image gallery for aspiring artists and photographers. The value to me of being a Yellow Llama contributor is the fact that you can take your artwork and repurpose it many, many times to create additional revenue streams that you otherwise would not have been exposed to or, or had available. Artists work on their art. Uh, rarely do they have a much formal sensitivity to the, the business side of the equation. If they're fortunate enough to go to the local show and sell their work, then they've had a successful day. But in fact, what really needs to happen is that work needs to be expanded and and be given the tools to, to realize it's, it's, its real market application potential. But then they got involved with Cindy Bowden, and ideas blossomed. And before they knew it, custom mini websites were springing up. And then came Zambia, Africa. My ex exposure to African art prior to, to going there myself was, uh, you know, tribal mask, uh, primitive drawings, and what I found when I got to Africa was works consistent with the, the finest European, American, and Asian artists. What we would like to see the artists do is to be able to take their artwork, to capture it as an image, and then recognize that that artwork can grow legs and walk around the world. Not only do we present the image for rental, but we provide the production resource, we provide the distribution resource, we provide the marketing resource, we provide the transactional support, and most importantly, we, we provide the secure legal representation. And what we found uh, after our exposure to World Crafts Council and, um, and frankly, what we found in Africa from the artists in Africa is the Yellow Llama model is really um, something that needs to be globally deployed. And it, it, it's a model that needs to be not only a commercial venue, but a venue of, of social change and, and cultural exchange. And that's something that we've, that, uh, that education has substantially changed our business model. Uh, but most importantly, it's, it's, ch it's changed the culture of our organization. What Yellow Llama and the World Craft Council want to do is establish a global online market for artists, especially artists in the third world, to help them overcome the downside of isolation and globalization, and to help artists develop sustainable livelihoods. Yellow Llama's future is um, changing and, it, and it's exciting to me. I see Yellow Llama being an educational platform. I see it being a cultural platform and I see it being um, an economic platform.